Remind me, do you still taste sugar? I haven't for ages. Let me do this quiz on you. Why? Because I'm bored and I haven't seen you for ages and I don't want to sit here not communicating. What's it about? Test your man. Ten questions to see if your relationship is strong. It'll be fun. Question one. Does he like your family? Yes, no, most of the time. Yes. Correct. Question two. Does he know your favourite colour? Yes, no, has to think about it. Yes. Okay, what is it? Blue. Red. You always wear blue. Yeah, that's because blue looks good on me. Hmm. Question three. Does he like your friends? Yes, no, most of them. Yes. Except Rachel. Don't start. I wasn't. Question four. Do you ever make love after an argument? Always, never, sometimes. Uh, I think we both know the answer to that. No. Never. Why don't we? Because when we have an argument, you piss me off. The last thing I want to do is have sex with you. Charming. Question five, have you ever broken up? Question six, uh, who is the first to apologise after an argument? Me, him, about the same. About the same. When have you ever apologised? I always do, even if it's not my fault. Why can't I feel this turning into a big deal? It's not a big deal, Andy. It's a quiz. It's fun. Why do you have to do this? When things are going smoothly, you have to mess them up again. Where do you see us in five years' time? Can you turn the TV off? Where do you see us in five years' time? I don't understand the question. What do you mean you don't understand the question? Well, is it one of yours or is it the test? Quiz and what difference does it make? The quiz gives me options. Oh, come on, I'm only joking. Yeah, you're always only joking. What's that meant to mean? It means you don't take us seriously. I knew this was going to happen. This always happens. You turn everything into a full-blown relationship debate. I'm not debating, Andy. I'm just saying you don't take us seriously. I've been with you for two years, for God's sake. For God's sake, Andy. Question fucking seven. Where do you see us in five years' time? A. Definitely together. B. Probably together. Or C. Who knows what the future holds? How should I know? So C. No, how should I know what to say when you're in this state? Just answer the question. Fine. A. Well, don't just say that. Who knows where we'll be? We'll probably still be together. I don't know what's going to happen. Joanna, can you please come out? Look, I'm sorry. Can you just come out? Joanna, it's a bloody quiz in a magazine. Question eight. No, I'm not doing this anymore. Question eight. Joanna. Does the idea of moving in together concern him? Yes, no, sometimes. We've already moved in together. No, I moved in with you, there's a difference. There's no difference. There's a massive difference. I was sick of the distance. We were both sick of the distance. Yeah, but I was the one who moved. I gave up everything for you. Stop being so melodramatic. I'm not being melodramatic. You have locked yourself in our bathroom. Your bathroom? You lived here before. I don't believe this. Question nine. No, I'm not answering anymore. Has the subject of marriage ever been discussed? Well, we both know the answer to that one. You show me a marriage that works and then I'll change my mind. Oh, I'm sick of hearing this, Andy. It's a dead tradition. Oh, you're boring me now. Question 10. Okay. Why don't we go back to the question about breaking up? Like, why don't you ask me some questions like, do I still love you? Yes. Am I looking for anyone else? No. Do I still want to be with you? Do you?
Do you? I don't know anymore. What do you mean? What was the last question? 